How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael SK, and welcome back to Amatsutsumi. The previous episode finally moved the plot along after a lot of episodes containing the other type of plot. Uh, Kokoro has now had her Kododama removed. Now she is at a uh, conflict, I would say. All these new memories that have been made with the impression of Makoto being her brother and then most recently Mana being her sister. They're all, you know, a farce. So I am curious as to what will happen. I have been on like the side of, you know, like, you know, no Kododama gang, you know, we, we should not have done this in the first place. And I was in favor of us removing the Kododama, but even I have to admit, I never really considered the side effects that would come of it. Morning will come, no matter how dark the clouds over my heart are. I wish I could sleep all that time away. I just stare up at the roof, the clock ticking away each passing moment. My heart stings when I recall yesterday's events. But that doesn't change that I still have school today. I consider playing hooky, but realize I'll have to get up when I think of how Azuki-san will be making breakfast. I drag myself out of bed and start getting dressed. I manage to get changed and head to the first floor, where I find Kokoro. <gasps> Good morning, Kokoro. What an awkward greeting, if I do say so myself. But it is the same for Kokoro, if not worse. Oh. Makoto-kun. It's only natural for her to call me that. Yet I feel like I've been stabbed in the heart with a dagger. <laughs> Kokoro walks right past me and heads up to the second floor. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. But when are we going to break that Kododama on Azuki, you know? Breakfast this morning has no flavor to me. I mean, it was a necessary thing we needed to do. We absolutely needed to do this shit. By the time Mata and I are ready to go, Kokoro has already left or er, left for school. Come on, game. She's avoiding us completely. I want to talk with her, but I won't accomplish anything like this. Time passes by as I keep trying to brainstorm a way to meet her, or meet with her. I return to the classroom disappointed during lunch break. No, I didn't see her. Hotoru wasn't around either, so I think they might be together. In hindsight, I don't really know where Kokoro likes to frequent at school. We've had lunch together, but I don't know where else she goes besides then. You're right. The bell signaling the end of lunch rings as if to heighten my impatience. We're moving right along, aren't we? Right along to what? I have no idea. I leave the classroom as soon as school ends. Hopefully, I should be able to catch Kokoro as she's leaving the classroom. Wow. I race for Kokoro's classroom without giving Mana an answer. There's a lot of spelling mistakes. I make it down the stairwell just as Kokoro and Hotoru are exiting, or exiting the hallway. Kokoro immediately comes to a halt and turns around. Wait, Kokoro. Kokoro dashes off, ignoring my calls. Hotoru, completely clueless as to what's going on, looks back and forth between Kokoro and I. Hotoru bows deeply and then runs in pursuit of Kokoro. I get the feeling she's not in a talking mood right now. Does this mean there's no more chances for us to talk? If so, we have no choice but to harden our resolve. Yeah. I leave Kokoro's classroom under Mana's suggestion. Man, we are just having a lot of quick scenes here. There's just, there's nothing to be done. No goal to accomplish, or I guess there is a goal, but we ain't accomplishing shit. Logically, the best move in this situation is to return to the village. If we stay here any longer, something I'll truly come to regret for life may occur. I know it hasn't been all that long, but 
I feel like I've been here for ages now. So? Mana nods. We make our way back only to find a familiar girl at our destination. Alright, thanks. Mana is being considerate of us. I think I know why you're here. So Hotoru's mad because she's worried about Kokoro. I get that. Alright, you have a right to know. Long story short, Kokoro was set free from my Kododama. <sighs> Hotoru catches on to my explanation. It's pathetic. I know. You're absolutely right. I have nothing I can say to her or say to that. But she runs away whenever I try talking to her. <sighs> anyway, did Kokoro get, uh, go home? <laughs> then I'll catch her at home and give it a shot there. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. I'll give it a shot, but there's no guarantee what'll happen. I'll head or I head home with that fear gripping my heart. We should be able to catch up to Mana. I'm back. No, sorry. She really is avoiding me. Is this her way of saying she won't allow any excuses? I take a seat as prompted. Mana sits next to me, quietly sipping her coffee as she observes. You're not gonna ask what this is about? Azuki-san's cheerful comment cuts deeper than any blade. I'm not your son, nor am I Kokoro's brother. What good would saying that do? Knowing Azuki-san, our relationship might continue as normal, like when she forgave me before. But it's not like that we'll patch things up with Kokoro. I see. How naive can I be? Since Azuki-san accepted me, I was so sure Kokoro would be the same. That was the assumption I'd made. I thought this was for Kokoro's sake, but in the end, it was just for me, wasn't it? Azuki-san places a steaming hot coffee cup in front of me with a clink. I reach for the fragrant, or fragrant cup and have a sit, excuse me. It's bitter. Mana says that and sips her coffee without any sugar. Well, yeah, didn't you just say that? True. We end up not putting sugar in our coffee. Uh-huh. Okay. Why did that get a little real? Night has come, but Kokoro still isn't back. Azuki-san will be closing up shop sooner or later. I don't need to be told what Mana's implying. And that we should erase everyone's memories of us and return to the village. Then everything will go back to normal. Or at least, the way it was before I arrived. Yeah, good thinking. Will you give me a hand? Yeah, maybe. I smile wryly, eliciting a frown from Mana. I've caused you a lot of trouble, haven't I? I'm sorry. By all means. 
I want to apologize to Kokodo before we leave, no matter how brief. But in the end, that may be nothing more than my own selfish desire to assuage my guilt. Then maybe it would be best to not see her after all. I don't know what exactly she means, but her words warm my heart for some reason. My mind spaces out at the sudden ringing of my cell phone. I zone out for a few seconds before I take the phone into my hands. It's Hotoru. I press the accept button. My mind's still deep in a haze. Sorry, I'm still awake, uh, for what it's worth. Where to? Santa? I'll be right there. I practically leap out of my chair. Mana's quick to follow suit. I put my phone to my ear. Hotoru, thank you. I nod. Mana heaves a little sigh and walks away. I'm sorry. Hotoru hangs up. But now is not the time for a long chat with her anyway. Not if Kokoro is waiting for me. I'm going now. I rush out of the house after leaving Mono with that statement. Oh yeah, we're breathing. I dash down the dark streets at full speed. I'm sweating buckets by the time I reach the park. Oh, perfect. A sweaty meeting. Where's Kokoro? There you are, I finally... found you. I can barely get the words out between my gasps for air. Just hold on a minute, Kokoro. Woo! Yeah, I wanted to talk to you as soon as possible. I finally caught my breath. I face up and look Kokoro in the eye. I open my mouth, yet oddly enough, words fail to come out of me. It's not that my throat's dry. It's that I don't know where exactly to begin. How ironic. I'm a Kododama user, yet I can hardly talk normally. Kokoro. Kokoro stops dead in her tracks as though I'd used Kododama. I need to tell her now. No matter how poor a speaker I may be, I need to apologize to her personally, not with Kododama. Kokoro, I... I'm sorry. What I did to you was inexcusable. I've tricked you all this time. I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, you're right. It's no wonder you're confused, so I'll start from the beginning. I need to begin by telling you that I have a power called Kododama. You know about it. I see. Well, that's right. It's the power to make others follow whatever commands you get, you ask of them. Everyone in my hometown can use it, but the village was so stifling. So I left in order to learn about the outside world. But it didn't go so well. I barely knew a thing about the outside world, and so I ended up collapsing on the road. And then I used my Kododama to make myself your brother so I could li so I could have a life here. Yes, I can't believe how selfish I was looking back on it now. I invaded your family, plain and simple. I used you and your mother because I truly had nowhere else to go back then. I'm so sorry, truly I am. Let a man get a fucking drink, please. Kokoro's voice stings at my heart. I keep talking in spite of that. But once I started living with you and going to school, I ended up learning so many things. And in the end, I fell in love with you. <laughs> but the more my feelings for you grew, so did my guilt for lying to you. I thought maybe you only liked me because you believed we were brother and sister. I didn't want to keep lying to you, but neither did I want to abandon the family. When I was part of your family, 
I felt like I finally found somewhere I belonged. Even if it was all a lie created by my Kotodama, I grew to care about you and Azuki-san for real. In the end, I had to pick between having you as a sister or a girlfriend, and when the time came, I made my choice. Kokoro, I... I chose to love you as a girlfriend, and so I decided to remove the Kotodama. It was actually Mana who did it, but she was thinking on the same lines as me. Thank you for everything you've done for me, Kokoro. I truly did love you. Mana and I will return to our village tomorrow. My actions were a series of rash decisions from the start. Controlling how people feel is wrong. I was so ignorant of that concept that I probably didn't even see others as human. Just objects shaped like me, they're to be used for my own convenience. And that's why I ended up hurting so many people and Kokoro. Oh, excuse me. Which is exactly why I can't stay here any longer. I'm so, so sorry I hurt you. That is it for my excuses, and I will be going now. Oh. Wowzers. I was hoping for a scene like this. I, I need the emotions. I feel something soft and gentle against my back. And uh, that's for thumbnail purposes, potentially. Kokoro? Kokoro is embracing me. Is she trying to stop me? But I'm a little scared of what she has to say. That wasn't what I expected to hear. But weren't you avoiding me? Maybe she was just confused. Maybe she just needed, like, time? I wouldn't say that. I would. What do you mean? I can feel Kokoro trembling behind me. Then does that mean you still... Okay, but I feel like this is also caused by Kotodama because as it's been pointed out to me before, he's also kind of used Kotodama to, you know, accidentally do unintentional things. Makoto's pretty tall. So it wasn't because you hated me? Thank goodness. The threads of tension within me all unravel. Are you sure? Azuki-san taught me the meaning of family. I don't want to leave her either, of course. Kokoro's tear-choked voice cuts deep. Kokoro is a lover, a sister, and family. And you don't leave family. When she calls me that, my grim determination melts away, replaced by feelings so precious they ache. All right, I won't leave. Really, I'm staying right here. I promise. Ah, uh, no, okay, this, this has to be the thumbnail, right? Kokoro. I embrace the girl I love with every fiber of my being. Maybe he isn't as tall as I thought. Well, you know, I don't know. Kokoro hugs me like there's no tomorrow. The forbidden name! 
Kokoro, I love you too. Kokoro gives me the greatest smile I've ever seen. Oh, thank God. I thought she was going to say, let's go fuck in the park. I'm glad we don't have to go in that direction. Thank God we're keeping it nice and, uh, nice and emotional. Oh, what's this? Is this the end of the route? Just like that? I have so much more time to fill. Oh, no. What the fuck? C could you even say that that, like, was properly, you know, concluded? There has to be more. There has to be. I'm going to, to go on a whim and say that there's, like, a little bit more here that we have left. Right? For this route? Come on. My hope is that we, uh, that we have, um, Azuki freed from her, uh, from her Kododama along with others. And we just kind of fix up this whole thing to where, you know, we're just kind of, oh, God damn it. Okay. I'm, I'm probably going to be censoring a lot of the, uh, the CG that's popping up by the way, but, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. I want everything to just be normal. Like it should have just been that way from the beginning. I feel like it would have been less awkward and somehow we go to school, but like, I don't know. I I honestly would have preferred that. It doesn't feel right that we kind of abuse the uh I I, I don't know. We I feel like we totally abuse this family and our power to I don't know, fit in. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just upset. I'm I'm low key kind of upset with the whole Kododama deal and I've stated it multiple times. Not a big fan of the uh of the use of it to get into the family. Personally. But that's just me. In regards to this little route here, it was neat. Um, I'm not really a fan of Kokodo's character in terms of, like, the brotherly-sisterly love just because it really is kind of awkward. It's not incest, but... And that's, you know, what I wasn't really cool with. I don't know. Just, she's too lovey-dovey. And too um silly of a character i don't know i don't i don't know how to put it but i don't mind her character what's with all these twitter handles are these like uh supporters damn it i could have gotten mine over there i could have but i didn't you guys would have seen at the michael sk because somebody took michael sk and there's like no proper way for me to request it i want my name and I need it now. Hey, yo, but this music be popping, though. This music do be popping. I am a sucker for any form of instrumental. Especially piano. Guitar is cool, too. Thank you, purple. Who knew the color purple? W oh, shit. Im uh, is that a hub? I've seen that name before. I think I've seen that name pop up in um, r slash VNs. Maybe. I don't. I don't really know the com the community all that well for visual novels. I'm sorry. So only some names and only some things will look familiar to me. Okay, happy log time. Perfect. Life hasn't changed a bit since then. Mana and I returned to the Oribe household where we continued living each day like the last. Even our clothes brushes with tardiness remain the same. Once Kokoro and I went home, I told Mana I wasn't going back to the village. Mana promptly declared she was staying too and kept to her word. Though we undid Kokoro's Kododama, we didn't do the same for Azuki-san or anyone else. So, though Kokoro knows the truth, we can keep our false family going. We're not that desperate on time. Besides, if worse comes to worse, we can just run to school. Well, if we're late, we're all late. <laughs> Kokoro calls me Nissan. Okay. <laughs> God damn. Okay, we'll be going now, Mom. I'm alive. I'm not choking. I don't know what the fuck that was. I turn around and look at my home. This is where my family lives. 
It's self-reflection. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Let's go. We constantly check the time as we walk. At this pace, it looks like we'll make it uh, just in time. Huh? What is it? I see. You've been calling me that longer after all. How can you even read and walk at the same time? I'm sorry, but that, that's beyond my comprehension, my abilities. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen Mana look so cornered before. Mana looks really down. She must desperately want to know what happens next. Well, huh? Mana wraps her arm around mine. As expected, her massive breasts swish against me. あ、何してるのマナちゃん。兄さんは私のだよ。私のお兄ちゃんでもある。兄弟はそんなことしません。お兄ちゃんと心はもっとエッチなことしてる。わ、私の兄さんは兄弟だけど兄弟じゃないも
Oh, brother. You just see through everything, don't you? Kokoro's voice is filled with pride. She's just so adorable when she acts like this. Oh yeah, it'll be real fun lifting everybody's Kododama then. Ah, uh, what do you mean? Kokoro giggles, sending my heart dancing. Kokoro, wanna kiss? Well, she hasn't caught up yet. Oh, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on. I embrace Kokodo and gently kiss her on the lips. My heart is wrapped with bliss from her or from their warmth and softness. Uh, I'd like to say more like a kiss of future family. <laughs> we kiss again. I see Mana approaching us while looking the other way as I bask in this scene of family that we are. All while praying that this joy lasts forever this time. Alright. That's alright. I mean, it's a... Just a, a fun route with a problem that's kind of like... Come up from the very fucking beginning of the game. I mean... I guess I can't really fault it. And again, not not to say that I hated Kokodo's character or anything like that. Amatsu. Thank you. Uh, it's just that... You know... The, the whole incest. Not really a fan of that. And it just always seemed like she was ridiculously clingy and it got a little annoying a little fast. And again, I don't hate her character. I don't dislike her character or anything like that. It's just, it's how I kind of see it. So it was an okay route. I, I didn't mind it. It's just, I'm, I'm ready to get back to like, oh, stop. No. Ah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, ready to get back to it, ready to get back into the, uh, into the thick of things. Uh, we'll even, like, kind of get it started here, actually. Why the fuck not? Yeah. Fuck this shit. I did sleep with Kokodo, but I'm still unsure about my feelings for her. Kokodo is definitely precious to me. But it's not like I've decided on her as my one true love, and just recently she told me to wait before moving forward with our relationship. We are brother and sister, after all. So... Yes, fuck everything we just went through. I've never seen Mana like this before. For once, I can't imagine what's going through her mind. But soon, she seems to have reached a decision. She doesn't reject me or what I've said. If anything, she seems to have completely returned to her normal self. Oh, she's bound to be more pissed because now we're doing this shit without reason. Or without good reason, maybe. And therein lies the essence of Mana's and my nature's, the certainty that no matter what happens, we can always come out on top. I don't answer her. I love Kokoro. I love Hotaru, Kyoko, and Mana too. Hey, it's all the characters. I know that doesn't fit with the way normal people think here. But Mana and I never claim to be normal people. I'm not normal either. Look at me recording <laughs> a fucking visual novel as a hobby. Yeehaw. Big yeehaw. Oh, oh, okay. We're going into Kyoko's stuff now. All right. I'm down for that. I'm interested in her character. And, um, I don't know. There's something about her that doesn't scream annoying. And, again... Did not hate Kokoro's character, but uh, again, things got annoying a little fast for obvious reasons and such, so yeah, there there is all that. Okay, alright, we are now officially on the Kyoko line, which probably would have made more sense to save it on the Kyoko page, but whatever. I like having everything on one page, to be honest. Uh, thank you all for watching this episode. I know I'm ending it a little short, and I know a few episodes ago I stated that I will uh, I will definitely get into 
recording longer episodes now that I can. It's not as hot. There's not my dogs barking as much because it's colder outside. They don't want to go out and bark. There's basically less excuses that I can throw. Um, All I can really say is that I've been time managing wrong recently, and I've been struggling to get episodes going, not just this, but in general. So I do hope to at some point kind of abide by like getting 50 minute to one hour long episodes going just so we can we can really get going with this playthrough and not, you know, hesitate any longer. Let's let's really get the show going. Uh, But as we continue on with the playthrough, I, I will try to do longer episodes. I will try to be a little bit more consistent. Uh, And I hope that you guys will continue to stick with me. And I hope that I didn't scare anybody off with my terrible opinions about uh, about Kokodo. I don't know. What? How do you guys feel about Kokodo as a character? How did you feel about the route? It's very interesting. I, I think how this is going to go is we're now going to go multiple episodes, like practically hours, like we did with the beginning of the game, uh, with Kyoko's section. And then it will eventually give us the option of whether we want to pursue her. Then we'll have a few episodes where we uh, where we go down her route. It'll be lovey-dovey, some sort of story, uh, some other plot that we have to focus on, and then that's it. And then we get back to the main line. We go through, uh, I would assume Mana is next, and then same thing, and then we reach the end. There's no choice on this one. We go for Hotaru. We'll go in order just because, but... I think that's sort of the system here, which I'm fine with. I don't mind. And hopefully we uh, hopefully we find out more about our characters. Maybe we'll find out more about Kokodo in this uh, next part of the game. It's it's possible. I mean, we are keeping it pretty common now. It's, it's an interesting setup. It's the common route, but with a focus on the next character. That's kind of what it seems like. And it's different. Technically, I don't think I've gone through anything like that before. So, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see what awaits us as we continue along with good old Amatsutsume. If I'm saying that wrong, by all means, please correct me because we're 20 episodes in. Also, are we a quarter of the way in? Are we a third of the way in? Uh, not really sure, but hopefully, if we are a quarter, hopefully it doesn't take 80 episodes total to finish up this playthrough. Hopefully, I can definitely increase the length of the uh, episodes and make the playthrough go on a a little bit quicker, if that makes any sense. Thank you all for watching this episode and the playthrough up to this point. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you'd uh, like to stay up to date on this and more, and I will see you all in the next episode for Kyoko's section of the game. Take it easy.